In Age of War Chapter 4, Glass Flasks have become just a tad more tedious with the fact that you can no longer mine crystal with a pick. It is hand harvest or mass cull only. I do have a separate guide on how to do that if you don't know how. It's much more efficient. But today I'm here to bring you a quick and simple guide on how to get up a whole bunch of flasks without using any of that preciously mined crystal. And on a quick side note, if you're wishing to fill up those flasks to make them water filled, so you can make that purified water and whatnot just add yourself an alchemist any old alchemist will do you don't have to stand over a water source and infinitely click there are much easier ways they'll tick over that while you're gone or you can put them in a fireplace with some ice and that'll do the same thing but um much slower but if you don't have an alchemist or live near any water and you happen to live near ice it's a great alternative simply adding some type of fuel source in there to make your fire go will help too as a quick bonus tip i'm just going to quickly show you um this because a lot of people do don't know and if you don't have the ability to get somewhere a bit colder this can come in super handy although I'll show you how to get somewhere a bit colder along with how to get the glass flasks in a moment that does help also you can no longer harvest lotus with a pick you now have to harvest with the sickle or by hand so just in case you are unaware of that that's a thing but these ice sheets you can hit them with a pick and you can get yourself up some really easy ice without having to go anywhere too crazy and it will give you a decent amount of XP considering we're just hitting ice sheets not as much as what it was when we were four times harvest as being two times harvest and now on pvps but if you were on pve or single player you're likely playing one times harvest anywho so you're gonna need a bunch of silver coins you can get them from boxes around the world there are a whole lot a lot in buccaneer bay for instance where you can find gold and silver a lot hidden around the unnamed city a bunch in sepumero itself or you can come to one of the various silver mines i'm here at the actual silver mine where you can find it out the front you can also find rock noses of silver vein variety when they are harvested they will also drop that silver stone. Silver stone looks a lot like iron apart from it's not rusty. And over in the descent of Dagon you will also find some silver. It used to be our biggest source of the silver before they added the interior of the silver mine but if you go into the interior of the silver mine you probably never need to even come here but it's kind of handy as there is a bearer just down here that you can either capture if it's a tier 4 although it won't be too great as it's a mid-tier pirate bearer now and they've nerfed that but you can get some resources off them potentially a bearer backpack and there's a couple of sorcerer spawns and you can also get a couple of named dudes so it's a pretty worthy place to come but digressing with the casting table and the ability to cast coins unlocked in your feats or knowledge located down here underneath armor for some strange reason you can unlock metal craft and coin mold or once you get up a bunch of silver coins you can head on over to Sepu Meru specifically the West Wall prison area there's a bunch of merchants here that you can buy some cool stuff off. Some of them are more handy than others, like the spice port guy here. You can come visit him and then go up north and get your ice and whatnot adventures. We have some people that are less worthy to see, like that guy. This guy will give you some mystery meat soup, which is a food buff. Quite nice. But specifically, this dude's really handy because he gives us the glass flasks and a lot of them for very cheap. So you can sit here and smash this for ages and just get all of them. As they only stack to 20, highly annoyingly. Hopefully they do increase that stack at some point. You're going to be here a minute, but yeah, as you can see, we've already got a lot. And that'll come in very handy when you are crafting those purified waters or orbs for other things, dyes, explosive things, whatever. So save your crystal, mine a little bit of silver, which comes in handy for making alchemy base and other things anyway, and visiting various other merchants. Come and visit Venos and get yourself up those flasks super easily. But if you are after a lot of crystal for other reasons like making making bombs. Maybe you want to make up a whole bunch of salt, as I usually use stone to be fair. Check out my next video guide on how to harvest a whole lot of crystal much easier than picking up by hand now they've taken away our ability to use a pick. If you found this information informative, smash that like button. It means a bunch. And if you're not already, consider subscribing. It also means a bunch and I highly appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, whatever you may be. Have a good one.